Hello, welcome everyone to another episode of Minecraft. We've updated to classic 0.0.22a underscore 05. This update adds sound to the game for the first time. Sorry, that sound was pretty loud. I turned that down. I was saying that this update adds sound to the game. Here's a quick compilation of all the sounds. These are actually just four sound files played at different volumes and pitches. These sounds are played when you break a block, or an entity walks on a block. There's no sound for placing a block. Let's categorize the blocks. The grass sound is used by dirt and leaves. The cloth sound is used by all the cloth colors and sponges. The gravel sound is used by gravel and sand. The stone sound is used by stone and cobblestone. The metal sound is used by glass and blocks of gold. The wood sound is used by planks and logs, and no sound is used for saplings, dandelions, roses, and the mushrooms. Now two pairs of these sounds are the same, but played at different pitches or volumes. The grass and cloth sound are using the same sound file, but the cloth has a slightly higher pitch. And the stone and metal are also using the same sound file, but the metal has a much higher pitch. But there's some randomness in a sound's volume and pitch. Let's look at the code. Here's the code that returns the volume and pitch of the sound. This random next float call will return a pseudo-random number from 0 to 1. For volume, that random number is multiplied by 0 0.4 and added to 1. That value divides the original volume, it is multiplied by 0 0.5, and then that is returned. This whole thing is the same as multiplying the original volume by 0 0.357 to 0 0.5, with a uniform distribution, meaning any value in this range is equally likely. For pitch, we also get a random number from 0 to 1. But here we multiply it by 0 0.2 and add 0 0.9. Then the pitch is divided by that value and returned. That's equivalent to multiplying the original pitch by 0 0.909 to 1.11, also with a uniform distribution. So the played sound has some randomness to it. Let's look at how the grass versus cloth and stone versus metal sounds differ. Here's a graph we'll use to compare different blocks. On the x-axis, we have volume, and on the y-axis, we have pitch. We're going to look at grass versus cloth first, which share the same sound file. Grass starts with a volume of 0 0.6 and a pitch of 1. Cloth starts with a volume of 0 0.7 and a pitch of 1.2. So the two aren't very far apart. Once you account for the randomness, grass can end up anywhere in this red range, and cloth can end up anywhere in this blue range. The value for the sound is chosen randomly anywhere within this range. You can see the two ranges have a lot of overlap for volume, but only a small amount of overlap for pitch. This overlapping sliver means that the grass and cloth can sometimes give the exact same sound though. Stone and metal are also using the same sound file. Both have a volume of 1, but the stone has a pitch of 1, compared to metal with a pitch of 2. These two are far enough apart that they have no overlap. So the two blocks cannot give an identical sound. An extra layer of complexity is that the sounds are modified depending on whether they are playing from an entity step or from breaking. So this is the unmodified grass range. But the game takes this and decreases the volume to 75% if it comes from a step, which is this range on the left. For breaking, the game adds 1 to the volume and then divides it by 2. And the pitch is decreased to 80%. This gives us this range on the right for breaking. You can see the stepping and breaking ranges have no overlap, so the sound file will always play differently when played from these actions. Music was also added to the game. Three tracks from C418 were added. These are all classics, literally. I'll play just the start of those songs. Those are all nice songs, but in case you don't like the new sounds, a new control M was added that mutes all sound and music in the game. 
I don't have my sound muted right now. I want you all to listen to these thieves that I just spun. Lovely, right? Now let's listen to these thieves over here we spawned in a previous herd. It will be completely quiet over here. Our old steves have become discontinued. All updated old steves make no sound, while all new steves will make sound. The reason for this is because Notch created a make step sound field for steves in this version. Any new steves spawned in this version will have this field set to true, but any steves from earlier versions didn't have this field. When the older steves are updated, the game adds this field, but defaults it to false, so that they make no sound. All these steves will disappear after only two updates, but it's pretty cool to have all these discontinued steves while they last. The only way to obtain these steves is by playing in a previous version. We don't have note blocks, but now that we can create sound, we should be able to make music. One type of instrument you can make is one that requires skill. I call this a blockophone. The instrument gives you all the blocks and you work to break the blocks at the right time. But ideally I want to find a way to play music that doesn't require skill. It should just play itself like a tape. We can set out the blocks in a row, spaced correctly, so that when we walk straight at a constant rate, it will break the blocks and play the tune. As we have it right now, we're making noises as we walk along that interrupt the intended tune. We can fix this by going to the edge of a block like this. Now when we move, the game looks directly below us to get the block we're walking on. Since that's air, it plays no sound as we're walking. If you indulge me on a tangent, this is the first feature that depends on the block that the player is on. Using the block directly under the player or entity is not the correct way to check what block they're walking on. And this was the start of a bug that was doomed to infect Minecraft for ages. This bug was not fixed until the 1.20 snapshot 23w18a that came out in 2023, an astonishing 14 years later. That version fixed bug MC1133, which fixed all the other related problems, like avoiding soul sand and magma block effects by walking on the edge, or not getting the slime block effect when you land on the edge. This makes it one of the longest lasting bugs in Minecraft history. Anyways, that bug gives us a convenient way to play only the block breaking sounds and get rid of the walking sound effects. Actually, we can even add the walking sound effects back as part of the tape by adding blocks underneath us when needed. Using this, I've created a few tapes that we can play. I'll play them, see if you can guess what these tunes are. For my tests against others, they are pretty hard to recognize, so let me know if you got any in the comments. Next up, I wanted to show a bug with fog on the bedrock floor. If we turn on fog and look at the bedrock, you can see it glitches out and does not render as you would expect from other blocks. This is caused since the bedrock is not a real block in our world. It's artificially added to the bottom of the world by the game. Two episodes ago, I showcased the bug where moving your system clock forward an hour causes the game to speed up. On March 9th, 2025, it was daylight savings in the United States. On this day, clocks skip an hour from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. I wanted to test whether this skip would provide a natural way to cause the game to speed up. You can see the results of that test now. It did not speed up, unfortunately. It just kept running as normal. 
Finally, I will show another bug that is cursed and you cannot unsee. The blocks in the inventory are not centered. The blocks are too far to the left. It's obvious in game two, since the cursor, which is centered, is touching the green cloth on the right, but not the chartreuse cloth on the left. So good luck sleeping tonight after seeing that. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed, please consider liking the video and subscribing. Bye. Hey, this is the first outro we've had in Minecraft. I had to showcase this fan art of the intro animation. This was made by Legoman4222, who sent it to me on Discord. Thanks a lot for sharing this, Lego Man. It looks great. While you're here, if you enjoy discontinued features, like the Silent Steve, you should check out the Minecraft Discontinued Features wiki. In the description is a link to the page about the Silent Steve, and we have a Discord if you want to hang out and talk with other discontinued features fanatics. Make sure to check those out if you're interested.